If I had to choose one ride to go down in a water park, it would probably be the swirly one because it's much longer and you have way more time to go, ah. <laughs> Which slide would you prefer going down? Let me know in the comment section below. What's up guys? This is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter, and for this week's tutorial, I'm showing you how to make your very own miniature water park. I absolutely love all the colors there, it just has a very summer type vibe. Let's not forget all the fun details of the water dripping from the mushroom type thing, and the little water droplets right underneath it too. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I publish every Friday and I have lots of different kinds of tutorial to keep you entertained. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, because I'm still waiting for a good game to get me inspired, leave them in the comment section below. The full list of everything we'll be using will be in the description box below. The clay I'm using is from Sculpey, and the UV resin as well as epoxy resin are from Sophie and Toffee. The first thing we're going to do is make our base for the swimming pool. Cut out any shape that you want. I decided to go with a jelly bean kind of shape. Once you have the base, go ahead and put the border. Smooth that stuff. Make sure that the inside is also properly sealed, otherwise you'll get some resin on your desk, which is permanent and unpleasant. Make some texture on the inside. Take your liquid Sculpey and put it all the way around the bottom part just to be extra safe that we're not going to mess up later on. Now you're going to bake it for 10 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. You're going to take any color clay that you want and make the contour for that piece. Now flip the piece over to make sure that the front part is actually flat. So you're going to push it from the bottom to make sure that the top is flat so it looks kind of like that. Now I'm taking a whitish blue piece to make the tiles. I don't know why, but when I was cutting that piece, for some reason I kept slipping my fingers and going right out. Yeah, let's see there, I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Lifted it up and cut the inside. So it's pretty satisfying to cut the inside of the pool, remove it. And the easy way to get the outer side of the tiles is just to stretch it very lightly on the outside of the pool contour. Make any kind of floor that you want. I decided to go with tiles. Take a piece of wax paper, place your piece upside down. That's going to make sure that the floor is actually flat and straight when we bake it. So make sure that you push very gently on all the pieces. And just to make sure again that we don't mess up, seal the gaps <laughs> with your liquid Sculpey. Now you're going to bake it for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. So far, so good. Now I'm going to be using glass bottles. All right, we don't need the cork. Get out, get out, get out. <laughs> We're going to be using glass bottles to make the swirly part of the slide. Roll your piece of clay so that it's nice and bendy and stretchy. And you're going to make a hole with your dotting tool. But yeah, don't, don't make a hole at the bottom like that, like I did. Make sure that it's fully sealed at the bottom. Now decide where you want it to go and you're going to put it around that glass bottle. Make a contour for the swimming pool so that it doesn't look like it's unfinished. Put a tiny part for where the people would usually enter. Now you're going to take small pieces of wire, in my case, eye pins, and cut them to size. And yeah, I do need a new tool because I'm trying to cut it. And yeah, I dropped it. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> Where'd it go? Come back. Okay, there it is. Take small pieces of wire and place them in between the swirls. That's going to make it a lot sturdier. 
Now let's make the green slide and it's pretty simple. Just roll a piece and you're going to push a tool right down the middle. And we want it to have this shape. Place the little hut right on top. And to make it stand in position, we're going to be putting wires right on top. I highly suggest when we're baking this to make sure that you put some aluminum foil, as, as you guys like to call it, aluminum foil, under all the pieces, even in between each swirl, that way it doesn't collapse. Now add any kind of detail, mushrooms, little floaties, chairs, anything that you want. Have fun, experiment, and of course I added pool noodles because pool noodles. So far so good, I was just about to go into an evil sims mode by not putting a ladder in there, so let, let's make a little ladder with some wires. Make sure that you bend it so that it kind of looks like a cane, and you're going to place it on packing tape, that way it's going to keep its shape. And then you're going to take your UV resin and place it right on top. Spread that viscousy goodness all over the place. Oh yeah. <laughs> Once you've spread it, you can leave it in direct sunlight for 30 minutes or flash it with your UV flashlight for about 30 seconds. And here it is. Now place it anywhere you want. Now you're going to bake it for 30 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Once baked, you're going to take your epoxy resin, mix it, and stir it until there's no more swirly things. Oh baby, keep swirling for me. Make sure you get crystal clear. Now go ahead and add any details that you want. For the dripping effect on the mushrooms, take some glue gun, on your toothpick and just let it slide very slowly and cut off the excess. Now pour the resin in the pool and put some splotches underneath the mushroom. And of course, make sure that you put some water on the slide because yeah, you don't you don't want to get hurt all the way down. You want it to be nice and slippery. With whatever resin you have left, go ahead and glaze it so that it's all shiny. Now you're going to let it sit and harden overnight. Once it's hardened and none of the liquid is going to spill, go ahead and take your UV resin, place a really thin layer, and you're going to spread it, and place whatever decorations that you want. Harden your UV resin by putting it in the sunlight for 30 minutes or shining your light for about one minute. And here you have it, your mini swimming pool and water park environment. It is so colorful. I, I love colors, so yeah. All done! Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until then, I will see you in the next video.